Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts Reviews and Off Times Reminisces. So, when I'm cruising the internet looking for new music, um, one of the devices that uh, artists and labels use to try and hook you into uh, buying or at least listening to uh, what they have to offer is, is the album cover. Um, and album covers can grab you straight away, um, at least to get you to listen and you can go, not my thing, and move on. Um, or you can uh, be happy enough to purchase or listen some more. Um, and some album covers serve as a warning, don't they? Um, this album cover is a case in point. Now, typically, when I see an album cover like this, I shy away. <laughs> the uh, This sort of um, castle by moonlight in snow in a forest setting... Um, Typically, when I listen to the music on these, it's not that it's, the music is bad, it's just it's not quite enough of my thing to um, to purchase or at least listen to again. So, plenty of times I've, I've uh, gone on to the, the website of uh, the band or our uh, label that provide this album cover, these sort of album covers, and... Uh, Sometimes I've been sort of drawn to listen a bit longer, but by and large, it's nah, not, not my thing. Uh, and so I had no expectation of anything else when I clicked on to um, uh, Moonlight Sorcery. Um, I thought, we'll give it a go. It is a pleasant uh, picture, not, you know, let's face it. Um, um, and let's just say I bought it, so it can't be that bad, can it? Um, so what's good about it? Let's listen and find out. So what grabbed you about that then, Mac? Well, those drums for starters are always going to uh, get me listening a bit longer. Um, and the synthesizer or keyboards, whichever, um, are pleasing as well. The <laughs> Sometimes, you know, um, when you listen to fast music, you want the whole kit and caboodle. You want uh, to the speed and you want chuck. Uh, you want um, rocks and axes and knives and razor blades flying past you, uh, striking you at times. And sometimes you just want the exhilaration of the speed and the wind in what's left of your hair. Um, and just go along for the ride without um, too much of um, abrasion and aggression. Uh, and when I talk aggression, I'm, I'm talking relatively speaking. Uh, so um, the um, that is an intro uh, sort of uh, quite took me. Um, let's listen to how it progresses, shall we?
So part of the description of this band is they are they are symphonic, uh, symphonic even black metal um, or melodic, but there's some emphasis on them being symphonic. Um, I don't like a lot of symphonic um, black metal, particularly when it gets noodly uh, and too intricate. So the fact that this is at the straightforward end of, the, of that spectrum um, means that it's more palatable for me. Um, I don't like uh, keyboards when they get a bit over overactive and uh, sort of showing off, if you will. Um, so these these meld in quite nicely with the rest of the instrumentation, and and although they are to the fore that they don't overwhelm um which is one of the, the things that in some symphonic black metal um puts me right off so yes enjoyable to say the least <laughs> I keep banging this drum every time it crops up but um, not being a fan of solos yet again I find myself uh, pleased by um, the contextual use uh, in a song like this uh, and particularly where the solo sort of um, fell into a lead motif um, at the end there so you know I suppose really when I say I don't like solos it's certain types of solo I don't like um, I don't like chaotic solos that are chaotic for the sake of being chaotic. You know, you know, I probably blame Kerry King for uh, for, those, for that for that from way back when those, you know, often copied and um, sort of. It's hard to get those right as far as I'm concerned. Um, I can't be doing a wanky sort of light speed fretboard. Uh, abuse either so um, measured solos like that one um, uh, I, have, I have no problem at all really so yeah
So there you go. Uh, that was Ice Veiled Spell. Uh, and the reason I mentioned that is because at the end, they, if, if you hadn't grasped um, the subject matter, then um, that sort of um, ice, wind, northern light um, effect at the end will perhaps nudge you into um, realising it. So listening to that, I think it was all about textures. Um, it's another song that I thought was faster throughout, um, but wasn't. Um, but again, as I said before, it's a, it's a sign of the um, quality of the song that um, I didn't particularly I haven't particularly noticed when uh, just listening in a general sense. But it, as I say, textures there are what makes this song work for me. They are rich and smooth to an extent uh, there's no judder in it um so um it's a rolling sort of um dynamic there rather than um steep peaks and troughs so you know relatively speaking for me that's a pleasant listen listen compared to some of the uh, rawer and more raucous stuff uh, Obviously, in a, uh, a mainstream sense, that's it is um, much more abrasive a listen than um, mainstream stuff. But yeah, I think you know what I'm saying. Um, the rest of the album perhaps leans more towards the, the symphonic moniker, um, and all of it is pleasing. It's, 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 a, it's a a good listen. Um, Listen to it a few times now, and um, it, it does not bore me in the slightest. Uh, even the aspects of this sort of music that normally great don't. So, um, Moonlight Sorcery do what they do very well. And if it meets my approval, being a, a miserable old dodderer, then um, it should meet yours. Anyway, enough of that. Clicky bollocks if you want, and catch you all next time. Cheerio.